Hey Kyle, I want to show you a quick comparison of your swing versus uh, one of our former players, um, Brennan Barlage. Brennan's here in this picture. He's probably about three years older than you, but he's got a really good swing in, in relation to a uh, lack of a bat drag. So I've moved the, the two pictures forward to the same point in you guys' swing, and I just want you to notice the subtleties here where you are compared to where he is. You see how you, your, where your hands are right there compared to the arrow there on um, Brennan's hands. Look how high his hands are. His hips have already initiated here. And if you look, what, ha what ends up being able to happen because he remains in that, in that high position as his hips go forward, you'll notice that his hands and elbows r remain in good relations. The hands are out in front of the elbow, so he's not dragging the bat, whereas if we look with you, um, let me get to, to where you are. Look, I'm moving you forward here now. You'll see as you come forward, you're going to get your hands are going to drop. Let's keep it going. Your hands will end up dropping a little too quick and it's going to create a bat drag here. If we go forward, here we go. There we go. And now you see where your elbow is out in front of your hand and, and is dragging the bat. So it's a very subtle difference, but again, I think it's good sometimes to look at those subtle differences if you want to per perfect your swing. Brennan does a really good job. He's starting to initiate his swing here. You see his knees engaged and his hands are kind of staying coiled up in the, up in that top position and it's going to and then he's going to unleash leash them in a direct route to the ball. So, hopefully you can kind of take note of that and work on that uh, next time you go out. All right. Hope you enjoyed it.